read with me Hebrews 9, 22. And according to the law, almost all things are purified with blood. But without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Father God, thank you for your word. Let us hear this message because it is your message for a godless generation that has lost its moral compass. In Jesus' name we pray and all of God's children said amen. amen. You may be seated. The power of the blood, the message of the cross, is considered in most of America's churches today too confrontational. If it's too confrontational, let's take a snapshot of our, na of our nation. Today we have mass murders in shopping malls. Mad men with AR-15 automatic rifles are invading schools and slaughtering our children. Churches and synagogues are soaked in the blood of their church members. Hmm. The thugs that shoot them become national celebrities thanks to national television. Preach! to those of you who run national TV networks. When one of these Say it. shoot people, don't put their picture on the television. Don't give their name. Don't make a national hero out of them. You do not deserve that. You motivate other people to do the same thing by showing it over and over. Amen. Wow. In America, anarchy is in the street. Policemen are being shot on sight. They're being murdered while they're in their squad cars. They're shot trying to protect we the people hmm. from the barbarians that are in the street. Our nation has lost its moral compass. Yep. It's time to be confrontational with evil that's destroying this nation. To see evil and not call it evil is evil. Oh. Not to speak is to speak. If we see it and don't stop it, the fault then comes to us. And God forbid that day ever comes to Cornerstone Church. Hold your head on. Arise and let his enemies be scattered. And let the torch of his truth illuminate that we may find our way back to the cross. Whoa. Satan's greatest fear is the blood of Jesus Christ. The secret of unlimited power in our preaching, the secret of unlimited power in our praying is the blood of of Jesus Christ. It is the blood that makes the word of God powerful. It terrorizes Satan and every demon in hell. It sets the captive free from the chains that enslave them. It is the blood that guarantees my salvation and yours. It is the blood that conquers death, hell, and the grave. It is the blood that brings healing, for by his stripes we are healed. It is the blood that breaks generational curses. Things have been happening generation after generation after generation in your family. You need to draw the blood circle around your family and let your family be protected by the blood of Jesus Christ. One drop of that precious blood sets you free from the bondage of sin. It makes your sin, though it be stained like crimson, to be whiter than snow. One thing God can never do is remember sin that has been forgiven by the blood of Jesus Christ. He buries your sin in the deepest sea never to be remembered anymore. One drop of blood from the Lamb of God and the angels write your name in the Lamb's book of life. The stench of sin is removed from you forever. One drop of the power of the blood, and you are no longer a slave. Your chains are broken. You are instantly an adopted person in the kingdom of God to become a child of the king. You are royalty. You are love. You are destined to wear a crown of life. You are destined to wear a robe of righteousness. You are destined to live in a mansion built by the architect of the ages. You become a member of the family of God when the blood of Jesus Christ is applied to your life. Give the Lord praise and glory in this house. 